enabling reproducible workflows. So far we have our input layers saved inside a geo package. So if I look at the data package, we, can ha we have this maritime piracy geo package, which contains these two input layers, which we used. We have a project file, which has this project with the styling and everything configured. And then we had our model that we created to do some analysis on this input data. And we have saved this model inside the project. So now I have this geo package and a project file, which I can use and say, if I have those two files, I can always reproduce my output. I have stuff saved inside my geo package, which is the input layer. I can open my project and I have this project model. I can run this and I can generate the output. So if I send these two files to anybody, I, they can use this. Let me show you on the file system what those looks like. So we have the Maritime Piracy Geo package, which is a single file. And then QGZ is the project file. This is the QGIS format, which stores information like what layers are loaded, what is ordered, what's the project CRS, what's the styling. And now it also contains the projects inside of this. So I need to manage these two files and send it to somebody. This QGZ file is a zipped file. So if I unzip it, you get a QGS file, which is a text file, XML based file, which can store all this stuff. So we are getting pretty close to saying that we have these two files, we can reproduce our work, but again, still there are two files. Can we make it better? So QGS has yet one more optimization that you can apply to your project. So you have your input layers, you generate your output layer, you save them back to your geo package. You have a model which we use to generate your output, which can be saved inside a project. Once you have a project, you can go and say project save to geo package. So instead of maintaining QGIS projects as separate QGZ files. You can say, I have a geo package. I want to save this project file inside of that geo package. Let's see how this works. So I have this project file. I'm going to go to project, save to geo package. I'm going to browse to the same geo package that contains this. So I have this maritime piracy geo package. It says, what's the name of the project? So I'll just name this as my spin analysis and I can click OK. So what has happened? You can see my project is named as Hexpin Analysis. Let me open this geo package. You can see my geo package now has the input layers and the QGIS project inside a geo package. That means I can now send you a geo package and say, here, take this geo package. You can open this geo package, load this project. You have your input data and your models all saved in a single geo package. So you don't have to manage anything except one geo package, which now contains your input data, your output data, your project models, and a way to generate those output models. And this is the best practice for managing your data where you store everything to a geo package, store your projects inside, store your models inside. And having this, you can manage only one file. You can share those around with your collaborators. People also put this geo package on a shared drive where multiple collaborators can access that. Some people say, oh, geo packages are great, but I have clients who demand ESRI formats, or I have a client who demands another format. Well, geo package is a lossless data format. It's so great for data management. So if you have a vector layer, you can store this in geo package. When the client says, send me the output, well, you can export that as a shapefile and send them. Shapefile is much more limited format. You lose some data but at least you're not losing the data when in the storage. So when you export the data, you can export the data in whatever format your client needs. So for managing data, GeoPacket provides this really efficient storage format where you can store everything in one place. Everything is backed up. If you want to share the data with the colleagues, send them a GeoPackage with the project and the model inside, they'll be able to reproduce exactly what they did.